Being funny is not all that easy. Some people are naturally funny and can make a corpse giggle, while some people, can turn you into a corpse with their humor. Takia Crystal Keymore is the former and we got to know her well in the hit Wyans TV show of the late 80s and 90s, in living color. Before we get started, if you enjoy this video, please like this video as it really helps this channel, and it helps us bring you more videos like this. If you want to keep up on the latest, please subscribe. Now, let's get to it. Born Crystal Walker on October 13, 1962 in Chicago, Illinois, Takia was destined to be a performer. A performer since childhood, Takia Aslo was a writer, producer, and director and she studied theater, dance, voice, and pantomime in high school. She turned down a business scholarship to complete her studies at Florida A&M University with a degree in theater, co-oping at Florida State University to graduate, with honors, on time. After college, the Chicago native worked as a singer, dancer and actress, and won the title of Miss Black Illinois before placing first runner-up in the Miss Black America pageant. She moved to Los Angeles after wowing casting directors with her original performance piece, In Black World, in an open call for a pilot on a young television network. That pilot turned out to be Fox's groundbreaking, internationally successful, Emmy and TV Land Award-winning sketch comedy show In Living Color. The only female to star in all five seasons, Keymore delivered hilarious, spot-on impressions like those of Whoopi Goldberg and Edith Bunker, created a slew of iconic characters like Hilda Headley, Hay Morn, and Shawanda Harvey, Go On Girl, and brought her own characters such as Chrissy, in Black World, and Lash on to the show. On the heels of In Living Color, she went on to guest star on several live-action and animated shows, and went on to star in six other series, playing, sexy contractor Scotty Decker on ABC's On Our Own, laid-back television writer Denise Everett on Fox's The Show, a dozen lead and guest character voices on Damon Wayans' animated series Waynehead, flight attendant turned lawyer, turned pastry chef turned teacher Erica Lucas, on CBS's Cosby, firm, fun, caring mom Tanya Baxter, on Disney's That's the Raven, and most recently, Johnny Carson's Gate keeping secretary on CISO's There's Johnny. Wearing her hair naturally on television since her days on In Living Color, when doing so was rare, Keemore has inspired a generation of women to follow her lead. In her popular coffee table book, Natural Woman, Natural Hair, the author lovingly demonstrates how to style African-American natural hair and shares her experiences wearing her hair naturally on television. She is delighted that so many young women all over the world look to her as a natural hair icon. What really gets me though, are the single and weekend dads and interracial families that my book has helped, and the older women that credit me with their natural hair conversions, Keymore says. After more than 20 years of constant work on stage, television, and film, Keymore's life changed direction completely when her grandmother became seriously ill. Throughout the run of That's Sir Raven, Keymore was in charge of the care of the woman who raised her, who was then suffering from Alzheimer's disease. She made the most of her time on the show, made lasting friendships with the cast, acquired another generation of fans worldwide, and even directed an episode. At the end of her final season on the show, however, the actress decided to take a break from performing to focus on her grandmother and see her through her transition. Not long ago, the multi-talented artist renewed her passion for performing. Fans cheered her in a celebrity cameo with In Living Color co-star Tommy Davidson in Sci-Fi's Sharknado 4, The Fourth Awakens, and watched her as Beverly in Candice Kane's college romantic comedy, What Happened Last Night? Keymore also starred in Paul Reiser's comedy There's, Johnny, a behind-the-scenes look at The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson which premiered on Hulu in late 2017. She can be seen on an upcoming episode of Jim Carrey's new television series, Kidding is attached to several independent film projects including Revival, which is scheduled for a 2019 release, and is working on a book about her time taking care of her grandmother. The stage version of their story is set to debut in 2020. There you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.